the way you put it, exorcists here sounded like exterminators in the human realm. Yeah, but these guys suck at their job, so that wouldn't explain what happened to the school spirits. <laughs> Maybe they all possess students? I noticed that Bosha was unusually mellow today. Buenos tardes, Magdalena. Hola, mi patata. Where have you been? Just now? Oh, I was just preparing a special human realm recipe I stumbled across the other day. <laughs> so, prepare your taste boards for the human delicacy known as Ecto Cooler. Who are you gonna call? Uh, huh? Is, isn't it a famous drink in the human realm? This magazine Gus lent me indicated that it's a quite popular poop. Amiri, this magazine was made way back in 1989. It's practically a century old. Call now. Sorry, um, I could have sworn that was the issue number. Well, I for one would love to try your drink. No matter how outdated it might be. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Here's to my amazing human, and here's to my candy arms. Mmm, hmm. this is great, arms. Sweet, citrusy, and slightly sour aftertaste. You sure you weren't a barista in a former life? Hey, Amity, by any chance? Would the ecto in ectocular be short for ectoplasm? Ooh, that is kind of a big concern now that you mention it. Huh? I mean, it is, but why would that be concerning? It's just that we were talking about the missing school spirits and then you come out here with a ghost-themed drink. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Amity, please tell me you didn't put a real life ghost in a blender or juicer to make this. <laughs> of course not, Luz. Don't be silly. <laughs> There's no such thing as a live ghost. Amity's Blight's Guide to Cooking for Your Human. 3. Humans appear to be allergic to ghosts, as well as bugs. Follow the amazing artists and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.